Good morning, guys. 9th of August, 2021, and our shelter actually was able to hold the rain good enough. I just need to work out on this side of the tent. Otherwise, everything seems fine. We'll quickly wrap up and we'll start moving towards Karzok at 7 a.m. Crossing the uh, super wide river bed of Parechu. Today I think we can walk really really fast because we just have to go at one single level. Now can you spot these uh, small herd of kiangs? There's some 10 plus uh, kiangs right in front of our eyes. Amazing. Now these landscapes are super windy guys and therefore it becomes really difficult to vlog because you'll not just hear my voice, you'll also hear the wind noise. But it's a long, long walk. Oh man, beautiful landscapes. We got a nice little spring in the middle of nowhere. I think water is rightly called the elixir of uh, life. This tastes so much better. Mm. Beautiful landscapes guys but mm, it's a long long traverse actually and therefore I now understand that why it normally takes people six to nine days to finish Parangla. Some really nice uh, unearthly formations so beautiful they're not part of the trail we are just going there to just have a look because it, it is like very very beautiful uh, now the time is 5 pm guys and we have uh, covered a distance of some 31 kilometers in the last 10 hours and we still have some uh, one and a half hours of beautiful sunlight left Yeah, so these are the stats guys it took uh, we hiked for some 11 hours at an average speed of 3.1 kilometer and uh, we did a cumulative ascent of 600 meters approximately and a descent of actually 950 meters the time is uh, 6 15 pm and we'll uh, quickly pitch our tents we're done for the day yeah our tent is holding up on this single pole it's quite windy as of now at 8.37 we are done with our dinner we will call it a night we are sleeping today at 4600 meters see you guys we will see you guys on day 3 10th of August we woke up to this uh, cloudy weather at uh, 4600 meters 5.55 am let's start our hike Waiting for the GPS signal. Come on, man. I'm not under a roof. Yeah, acquired. Boom. Ready to go. Okay. Little deep here. Till our knees. Ah. Nicely figuring out the shallow spots in the river instead of going much deeper into a higher flow yeah mm -hmm. almost there chalo 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 mano hello chalo bye 
सर वेलकम टू लद्दाख जुले जुले सर वेलकम टू लद्दाख पाओगी तो मार दूँगी भाई ऑफर क्रॉसिंग फाइनल स्टोन एंड सिटिंग ऑन इट इस लाइक ऑसम एंड टुडे इस लाइक अ वेरी सनी डे इट्स एल्प्ड मी लॉट crossing the river was amazing man yeah so guys this is the beautiful story of the parechu river it starts from the parangla the pass that we did there was a big glacier on the northeast side of uh, parangla so uh, that's where the parechu river actually started now this is one such river that starts from india parangla goes all the way crosses the international boundary and then comes back again in himachal near this point called sumdo if you have traveled to nako or tabo that's where in between nako and tabo there is this place called sumdo where parechu would finally meet the spiti river we have been drinking the water of this river since last two days now and i think we are definitely going to miss it because uh, because from this point we go left towards karzok and parechu will nicely turn right The time is 9 a.m. We have another 30 kilometers to go. We are now in this uh, beautiful Ripshu Valley, which was an amazing ancient trade route. Very beautiful. So after 76th kilometer. <laughs> We have finally opened our last last slot of aloo paratha. We have fifteen of them. These are the last five. Yeah, so Sumit just found a cap by low alpine. Somebody dropped it, so we quickly washed it, <laughs> and now I think I have a cap. So somebody's garbage can be. Somebody else is gold. I also found a toe of a mule, actually. So these big structures are being constructed by shepherds to keep their sheep and goats at one place. Oh man, this thing is filled with sheep poop. <laughs> nice, nice little door there. What more? Can you ask for? It is a super flat plain, as far as the eyes can see. Beautiful terrain, and and lucky that we got a cap finally. <laughs> I'll I'll be less sunburnt, and beautiful views on all the sides. we can see the very first glimpse of the lake this blue line is chomarori guys <laughs> now this is one of the most peaceful uh, water streams that we have crossed and the water is actually really nice it's quite warm you feel like standing <laughs> and not cross it in one go so this is how you can uh, maintain a good hygiene while hiking we'll quickly also brush our teeth <laughs> and we'll take a towel and we'll quickly wipe our whole body so we are done for the next 2 3 days even if we don't get a chance to take a bath now this is the kangdom campsite the last campsite for all those people who hike and go to karzok and i think it is called kangdom because There are a huge number of kyangs that you can see here. So after hiking for some 80 kilometers in the last 3 days coming from uh, spiti himachal pradesh to karzok ladakh via parangla we get to see this beautiful uh, chomarori lake 
at 40 500 meters guys a lake which is 25 kilometers long and 4 kilometers wide it will definitely leave you breathless What could this be? Oh man, it is super heavy. Woohoo! May his soul rest in peace. Now guys, we are almost at the end of uh, day 3. The time is 6.15 uh, pm and we have found a nice uh, little water source and this is the place where we can actually camp. Now the town of Karzok, where this hike would end, is just 10 kilometers away and therefore it was a cumulative decision made by all three of us that uh, instead of going and staying in a village, in a room, in a hotel, we would rather pitch our camp near the Chomorori we will uh, sleep in the tent for one more night and then uh, tomorrow we can quickly just in a couple of hours reach Karzok and then uh, spend the whole day around in the village so time to quickly pitch up our tent and this will also be a nice test because I think this terrain would be super windy so we'll get an idea that uh, how our uh, sort of a uh, improvised shelter would work this would be the third night in the same shelter and we'll uh, get to know that how well it could withstand these uh, sharp gusts of wind good morning 11th of august 6 16 a.m Congratulations, <laughs> our shelter is uh, still intact, it was a super windy night. Beautiful sunrise. <sighs> wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up! <laughs> Feels like we are camping near a beach. Now guys, as we were hiking through these landscapes since the last two days, we also came across uh, the officers from the Indian Army and the ITBP and obviously for obvious reasons we did not click any picture with them or we did not document that experience but I thought of sharing it with you because uh, we are really thankful and grateful for their hospitality and also for their service to the nation that they are staying in these landscapes in such harsh conditions and I think that little interaction with them was indeed one of the highlight of this whole 100 km long journey now the Kazok village is just 5 km away and this water is actually coming from the glaciers of the mighty Mentok Kangri 1, 2, 3 now these are the Brahmini ducks I just entered the lake, a great start for the day actually at 8 am and the whole Chomari region actually comes under the Ramsar uh, wetland conservation and therefore it acts as a very beautiful breeding and nesting ground for various wildlife species Beautiful Mane 
kept here some uh, three kilometers before the Karzok village. And that's the beautiful village of Karzok, guys. What a hike. Battery is almost gone. 10 kilometers, guys. So basically, it was uh, three days and three hours of hiking. We are done with Parangla. Yeah, so this is all I had from this beautiful 110 kilometer long journey through Parangla and the Somarori Lake. Uh, if you have any queries, guys, then do reach out to me in the comment section below and I promise you a prompt reply. Thank you so much for all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one.